Hello, darling. <laughs> it's angels. Oh my god, we are in the cold city of Sniffleheim. Not really, Sniffleheim. We're at the port. Yes, yes. See, everything's cold and frigid. Yes, wonderful. Beautiful, darling. Very, 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 very chic. Anyway, so before I get into what you miss, uh, I just have to show you guys this. Let me see. La, 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 la. How are you this again? Ah, let's just do equipment. Okay, I didn't do this last time, but I I was grinding like crazy. Like, I was seriously grinding and making suits, hobo suits like Edna Mode would say, and all of that good stuff. So, I was able to get this. Yes, this an angels look chic, beautiful, wonderful, darling. And look at that blade. Mm -hmm. It's curved. You think about that. Mm -hmm. Serena, I can't get rid of this. I have just been vamping it up, you know, as much as I can. Um... See, it's plus three. I love the dancer's costume on her. It's so beautiful. Uh, until I could find another one that I really, really like. But I think she looks wonderful in this. Silvando. It took a while. But doesn't he look fabulous? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't even say with a straight face. But look at him. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Posture. Don't break your back, boo, boo but arch it. And this is machine washable, darling. That's a new feature. Jade, well, this because of that quest with the bunny suit, the hobo suit. What can I say? I see a lot of this, um, like thumbnails for this on YouTube. Um, I think it's a personal favorite for Jade. Um, I can't wait to see what other, what other she have. Eric, he looks like Alibaba or Aladdin, one of them. There, same people, right? Well, same, same movie, something like that. Anyway, I like this. I haven't really been playing with Eric much. Like, I probably wouldn't play with him a couple of times. He's not bad. It's just... Uh, maybe. But I have to switch him to the boomerang when I do play with him. Because the double daggers are nice. But that starburst, starburst throw that he has with the boomerang is freaking awesome. Rob, don't play with him. Don't mess with him. And... The, f the funny part about this, you know what happens when you don't do that? You end up in a situation where a character, char your favorite character gets taken away and then you have no choice but to play with these people. So I will start playing with him at some point. I haven't found a hobo suit for him, but maybe I will at some point, darling. Maybe I will. And Veronica. Oh, we visited this cute little academy for charming girls. And I was able to do a quest to get this nice little suit. And give it this beautiful rod. I wonder if she gonna ever grow up. Like get back to her size. I'm sure that's like a side quest somewhere. But doesn't she look like the nice little school child? Oh my god, she's adorable. So yes, that is... Those are the outfits. Those are all I have. I don't have any extra ones, I think. Yeah. I think that's it. Um, okay. Coming back out. Here's... <laughs> what you missed? <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. Behold the shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. The treasures of the world above are marvelous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travelers, and may it serve you well. While the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted, and love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. You humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we. 
who live 500 years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. So too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear Luminary, you must be upon your way. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <laughs> Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the tree of life, and to the tree return. Drongos, some of us have got sights to see. <laughs> I see this place is still full of friendly visitors. We passed through a while back on the hunt for clues about Mordigan, you see. Hmm. The beatific smile of the mural of the ruins of Now What brings good fortune to all who lay eyes upon her. If they believe that kind of rubbish, I'm guessing you didn't find out much of any use. <laughs> Aye, that's right, laddie. Not a sausage. But we're looking for something different now. And with the luminary with us, too. I have a feeling it might be worth taking another look at those ruins with fresh eyes. We'll have to make our way through town and over the top of the mountain to get there. Let's split up and see what we can find out on the way. <laughs> Mother! <laughs> Father! <laughs> Doesn't it just break your heart? The poor thing's lost her parents. Oh, don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. We'll help you find them. Now, why don't you tell me your name? <laughs> Dora. My name's Dora. I came here with my mother and father, but, but then they left me behind. They said that the mural was going to make them rich, and, and then they just went. <laughs> please, please help me. I want, I want them back so badly. <laughs> oh, there, there, little one. We'll find out where they've gone. Don't you worry. I'll take the town, you search the ruins, okay? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Sylve's detective agency to the rescue. Let the search begin. Mm, honey, there's nobody here. I thought you said you saw Dora come this way. If she did, she's disappeared into thin air. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, look up there! How strange. The mural. It's different from the last time we were here. going crazy or were those people not there yesterday and doesn't that one look a whole lot like that Baza guy the grumpy one the lady at the inn said he didn't come back last night hmm 
Hmm. I've got a bad feeling about this. We need to get out of here now! <gasps> this is no good. It won't open. The mural. What? The This doesn't feel safe at all. Way. So this thing has been luring folks in here so it can have them for dinner, eh? Uh, lucky old us. <gasps> Careful! We need to run, right now! <laughs> Another satisfied customer, huh, young lady? Another lamb to the slaughter, more like. But how? I had you in my clutches! You should be part of my masterpiece by now! You've lured your last unwitting victim into that painting of yours. You must go back and let them all out this instant. You can't keep all those poor people trapped in there. Come on, there's no point playing innocent anymore. Just let everyone go, will you? don't intend to let her get away with this. Come on, let's get back to that mural. Behold, I am beauty personified. Artistry made flesh. I am Dora in grey. Worship me. <laughs> who lured poor, innocent people into a trap so she could turn them into paintings? Not likely. But why? Why did you do all of this? <laughs> why? For beauty, of course! 
For my masterpiece, each of you will be a splash of color on my magnificent canvas. You should welcome such a fate. Oh, how I wish that greatest of beings had given me this gift sooner. Crossing dimensions, collecting colors with which to adorn my work. Such fun. And the world is so much better for it. You allow your basest urges to bring you to me, and I transform you into something altogether less ugly. I do cry when I say the mural brings fortune. It brings the good fortune of becoming a part of my masterpiece! <laughs> Look out, everyone!
Mord again. Finally, we're getting close. Wait. We know that he corrupted an ancient kingdom by possessing one of its most powerful people. Could now what be the ruins of that kingdom? She said something about wanting him to live forever. Is that what Mordigan wants? Is that what all this has been about? The magic key, eh? Well, if nothing else, we'll be able to open a door or two we couldn't before. Who knows what we'll find? Oh! <laughs> 